tonight at the Fairmont Senior Fieldhouse as the Fairmont Polar Bears go up against the East Fairmont Bees. It's the East-West game, 102 years old, and both of these teams come into this matchup unbeaten, so it makes it one of the most fascinating matchups in the long history of this series. The Polar Bears with a record of seven wins and no losses, and the Bees have matched that. East is at 7-0. These are cross-town rivals. They know each other well, playing twice during the regular season and many times once in the postseason. And when we come back, it'll be time to check the starting lineups and get a scattering report on the Bees. That's coming up next. East meets West here on 93.1 WFGM. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But with walk-in clinics Monday through Saturday, the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Sports Medicine Institute takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. Unlock the money already in your home at City National Bank. Consolidate loans or fund your next big project with a home equity line of credit with a great low intro rate. Visit your local branch to get started. City National Bank, member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Learn more at homeequity.bankitcity.com. Little General Stores has served our hometowns for decades, providing those essential needs for the road of life. The LG family goes above and beyond to ensure that your experience is an easy one. That's why they offer the LG Rewards Card, a way to earn points for free drinks, coffee, and even discounts on fuel. Rest assured, you'll leave knowing they have your needs covered. And by the way, tell them Hug sent you. Little General Stores, your road's neighbor. The main goal of our firm is to provide the best client experience possible. I want my clients to believe that they've experienced fairness. Then finally, I want them to know that they got a friend. I'm not in the business of running off business, but I'm in the business of being honest. At the end of the day and at the end of the case, I want the client to know that they didn't leave anything on the table, to feel without doubt that they made the right decision to hire this firm. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But Marshall Orthopedics, the area's only comprehensive sports medicine practice, is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Orthopedics takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. Nachos, better with Pepsi. Tonight from the Fairmont Fieldhouse, it's the East-West matchup. The undefeated Polar Bears and the undefeated East Fairmont Bees in one of the biggest games in the state taking place right in front of our eyes tonight. I'm Jeff Carpenter, ready to bring you the story as these two teams battle it out, the first of at least two matchups between them this season. Let's get right to the scouting report and the East Fairmont Bees. Their coach is Tyrone Estrino. He's been coaching at East Fairmont for 21 years. I had a chance to check in with him before the game, find out how to get a little scouting report on his team and he says there's been a couple of reasons for his team's early success um you know i'm going to be honest unselfishness uh probably is the key uh play hard uh, play you know multiple things defensively um you know offensively um have some skilled kids that can make plays shoot the basketball you know pretty well and uh you know, we have intelligent kids, too, and that helps because, you know, they're able to handle multiple things at one time. So it's a combination of all that, Jeff. You've had some lopsided games, some lopsided victories so far. What's been the key to that? Shot the ball, you know, fairly well uh, and played pretty good defense. Uh, you know, we're still a little bit because we change lineups and, and have started different lineups in different games according to matchups and uh, you know, there's still some things there that we could play a little bit better inside out than what we're doing right now. But it's, you know, it's early and uh, we're getting better at that. And, uh, you know, I think that uh, some of our scores, you know, have indicated that we shot the ball well, uh, shot the ball well from the free throw line, too. So, you know, that's good. This matchup tonight with the Polar Bears presents some challenges for you. What are those? Well, I mean, you've got two, you know, dominant players in Good and, and Dobbs. Both of them, you know, very nice athletes, very athletic, uh, you know, but the other three, a couple of kids off their bench. I mean, 
they're an athletic team. They play very well when, you know, they they have, in my opinion, they have good chemistry. You know, they know each other. Uh, and that's, you know, that's a huge part of it. And, again, you know, they can do some things that other teams can't do or won't do, and that's apply pressure, you know, and, and get after you a little bit. And, uh, you know, you have to be able to handle that. The secret to East having success tonight is what? Um, I think, number one, don't turn the ball over. Number two, I think, uh, you know, we have to shoot the ball well and uh, then, uh, you know, take advantage of some matchups and some opportunities that we may get. And, you know, if we can do that, uh, you know, I think it should be a very interesting game. Uh, you know, a lot of skill on both sides. The singing of the national anthem. That means we're just about ready for basketball, East and West, singing together. And that uh, will probably end the camaraderie as this game gets underway here tonight in front of a packed house at the Fairmont Senior Fieldhouse. It's what you would have expected. This rivalry brings out fans anyway, but when you have this much riding on it, it makes it even more special. And the fans that have shown up obviously are here to see this rivalry and also the intrigue of seeing a matchup between these two teams in an undefeated status. The Polar Bears have quite the winning streak in this series though, as the Fairmont's Polar Bears have won 26 in a row against East Fairmont. In fact, the last time East beat West was back in January of 2011, January 25th to be exact. So 26 consecutive victories for the Polar Bears in this series. And that includes three last year. All three games were relatively close, but the Polar Bears won them by 12, 15 points in the three matchups, two during the regular season and one in the tournaments. Starting lineup tonight for the East Fairmont Bees. Starting in the backcourt will be Evan Parr. He's a senior, six feet tall, 150. He was the leading scorer in all three games between these two teams last season. Good outside shooter. Another guard will be Blake Hunt, a junior at six foot, 170 pounds. Maddox Boyers, also in the backcourt, a junior at 6'0", 160. Their inside players are Ian Crookshanks. Might recognize that name. The quarterback of the East Fairmont football team, 6'1", 205 pound junior. And also inside will be Jackson Crusoe. He's 6'3", 170, and a junior. And he is one of the top two scorers for the Bees. And on the other side, it's the Fairmont Polar Bears. And Polar Bears will go with this lineup tonight. Sykeus Dobbs starts at guard. Averages 22 points a game, 6'4", 195, junior. Andre Grant, a junior at 5'11", 160. Averages double figures, just over 10. Latique Williams, a senior, 6'1", 155, is the third in the polar bear backcourt. And Williams comes into this game averaging three points a contest. Connor Gower, three-point specialist, is a senior, 6'0", 175. And in the middle will be the big guy, Deshaun Good, 6'9", 200-pound senior. He averages a double-double. He averages 19 points a game and 11 rebounds a game. Polar Bears are in the white uniforms. Blue and white, the colors for Fairmont Senior. East in the away uniforms, navy blue with gold lettering and trim. Tyrone Estrino, the East coach. David Retton, the Polar Bear coach. Our officials tonight, Paul Ayers, Steve Dalton, and Tony Thornton. So experienced officials handling this game, and you certainly like to see that. 
Jumping center for the Polar Bears will be Deshaun Good. And for the Bees, it's Jackson Crusoe. Good with a significant height advantage. And it'll be Steve Dalton to put it in the air. And the Polar Bears control the tip and have the basketball first. With it is Zykeus Dobbs. Dobbs dribbling at the top of the key. Passes on the left wing to Gower. Gower puts it on the floor once, then passes back to Dobbs. Dobbs starts to penetrate, then jump past left corner Gower. Gower goes down to the baseline, now stops in trouble. Back out it comes to Williams, penetrates to the basket, puts it up in traffic, no good, but a foul is called. Foul goes against Jackson Crusoe. That's his first, and it sends Latique Williams to the foul line for the Polar Bears, where he shoots 63% this season, and he's shooting two. The first one is up, and it is good. Williams gets the first point of the night, and the Polar Bears have a one to nothing lead. And he'll shoot one more. Shooting at the entrance end of the facility here. This one is off the right side of the rim, no good, and batted up a bounce out to the Bees. So East will get the basketball. We'll see what the Polar Bears do defensively. This has been one of the strengths of this Fairmont team, the way it plays defense. East brings the ball up into the front court. Crookshanks gets it under the basket for a shot. It hits the bottom of the glass. Dobbs has the rebound. Back the other way from left to right. Takes it down to the right wing. Spins to the basket. Hangs in the air and puts it in. Dobbs gets the game's first basket. The Polar Bears lead it three to nothing. Dobbs quickly gets on Evan Parr right out in front of us here at the scorer's table. Crusoe pivots, now drives in against Good. Takes him to the basket, leans in, puts one up off the glass, no good. Follow up, no good. And Deshaun Good has the rebound, but then it's stolen away. Picked up by the Bees, and Good gets it right back. Gets it to Grant. Grant down court to Williams. Williams in the right corner to Gower. Gower. Passes back outside to Grant, top of the key to Good. Deshaun is a three-point threat. He passes over to Williams in the left corner. Top of the key to Gower. Right wing, it comes to Zykeus Dobbs. Dobbs will set up the offense for the Polar Bears. Moves around a good screen. Passes to Williams, left corner Gower. Fakes the three, gets his man in the air, but then passes back outside to Williams. Top of the key to Dobbs. Dobbs looks inside, right wing Grant. Grant, a couple of dribbles with the right hand. Back out to Dobbs on the wing. Starts to penetrate. Left corner, Williams. Open for a three-point shot. It's high off the rim. Grant extends himself for the rebound and a whistle, and a foul is called inside. Foul's going to go against the Bees. And the foul goes against Evan Parr. So it'll belong to the Polar Bears under their basket, and Dobbs will toss it in. Dobbs lobs it out on the wing to Gower. Catches it in front of the east bench. Back it comes to Dobbs. Deep right corner. Now at the foul line, Williams. Williams penetrates. Back outside Gower. Swings it over to Grant in the left wing. Left corner to Good. Brings it out on the dribble now. Starts to back in. Bounces it back to Grant. Grant. Right wing Gower. Gower down to the baseline. Now a floater from five. Rolls off the back of the rim. And the Bees have the rebound. Crookshanks gets it out to Parr. He'll bring it up from right to left. Parr with a basketball against Dobbs. Down to the right wing. Goes for the layup. Misses the shot, but then gets his own rebound and follows it in. Evan Parr missed the layup. Had a chance for the rebound and followed it in. And the Polar Bears lead it 3-2. to 5.34 to go here in the first quarter. Gower gets it in the right corner to Grant. Studies that East Vermont defense and gets it back to Dobbs. In the lane, a pass intended for Williams. Goes through his hands and it's picked off and the Bees have it. Into the front court with it for the Bees is Boyers. Boyers dribbles to the left wing. Now passes over to Blake Hunt. Hunt guarded by Williams. Back outside to Crusoe. Good comes out to guard him, and the ball comes right wing to Hunt for a three-point shot that just catches glass. Dobbs has the rebound down to Grant behind the defense. Goes for the layup from the right side, and he puts it in. Grant gets the basket. Dobbs the assist, and the Bees come back the other way, trailing 5-2 to two now. Parr guarded by Dobbs on him very closely. There's a pass to the high post now to Crusoe. Lobs it back outside to Parr. Parr on the left wing to Hunt. Hunt around to Crusoe pick to the top of the key. Right wing Bowers. Warriors rather. Right corner, a three-point shot by Parr. It's good. And the Bees have tied the game at five. 4.33 to go here in the first quarter. The Polar Bears have the basketball, and Dobbs slowly gets it into the front court. Hands it off to Gower. 
Right corner, Dobbs gets it, goes down the baseline, feeds it in the lane to Good, but he has the ball stripped away from him, stolen by Parr. Outlet pass stolen back by Grant. The Bears have it. So back-to-back turnovers, and Fairmont Sr. with the basketball. Here's Dobbs in the left corner. Right wing, Williams, right corner, Gower open for a three-point shot off the back of the rim. Good for the rebound, but he's called for a push off inside. And the Bees will get the basketball as Deshaun Good picks up his first foul. Gower checks out of the Fairmont lineup, and Jules Butler comes in. Butler's just a freshman, but he's become the team's best three-point shooter, 41% from three-point range, and he's made more than anyone. East with a basketball now as we get inside the four-minute mark of the first quarter, game tied at five. Parr with the ball at the top of the key, gives up the dribble and then passes it on the right wing, and there's a traveling violation called against Evan Parr. So the turnover gives it back to the Polar Bears. Dobbs up court. To good. On the right wing to Butler. Right corner, Williams. Williams penetrates, gets it back to Butler. Top of the key to Grant. Grant stops, fires one from 18. It is good. Andre Grant gets his second basket. Fairmont Senior 7, East 5. B's in the front court now. Boyers takes it down to the baseline, then gets it back to Crookshanks. Under the basket to Crusoe. His shot is no good, but he's fouled by Latique Williams. Steve Dalton says you hit him on the head. And Williams gets his first, second team foul. Jackson Crusoe will shoot at the line to the left. First free throw is up, and it is good. It's the Polar Bears 7, East Fairmont 6, and Crusoe will shoot one more. His father coached at Buchanan Upshur for several seasons. Second one is up, and it is good. Game tied at 7. Fairmont Sr. with the ball in the front court. Grant hits good, top of the key. Stops from 3, shoots, and scores. Deshaun Good gets the 3, and the Polar Bears have a 3-point lead. It's 10-7. to seven. Parr against Dobbs. Hooks it to Hunt. Hunt, left wing, three-point shot is good. Blake Hunt counters the good three and hits one for himself. Game tied at 10, 2.49 to go. Top of the key, Williams gets it. Left corner, Butler. There's a three-point shot that rolls off the rim. Crookshanks has the rebound, and he gets it up court to Parr. Parr to Boyers into the right corner. Now almost travels and does. Sub coming into the Fairmont lineup. Jaleel Law will re- replace Latique Williams. Law as a senior coming up his best, coming off his best game a couple of nights ago in Philippi against Philip Barber. Ten points. He's a role player, but hit a couple of threes and played very well for the Polar Bears off the bench. Fairmont with the ball. Game tied at 10, 2.35 to go. We're in the first quarter from a jam-packed Fairmont Fieldhouse. Here's Grant at the top of the key. Left wing to Law. Law, a couple of dribbles then. High pass right corner. Butler back to Grant. Left wing to Law. Sees it go through his hands out of bounds. It's a ball that Jaleel has to catch. And it's a turnover. Goes back to East Fairmont. 2.20 to go in the first quarter. Game tied at 10. And the Bees have the basketball. Evan Parr will dribble up from right to left. One of the few seniors on the East roster. Left wing to Crookshanks. Down under the basket it comes now. There's a shot inside. Put up no good. Rebound Deshaun Good for the Polar Bears. And Fairmont has the basketball. Grayson Stewart couldn't get the shot to fall. Law in the right corner. Back to Good. Back to Law. Goes down to the baseline. Then cut off by Parr. Brings it back out on the left-hand dribble. Right. Left wing it comes to Grant. Top of the key. Throws it behind Law. And it's out of bounds to the Bees as the Polar Bears have back-to-back turnovers. Clock down to a minute 52 to go. First quarter. 10-10 is the score, and this game has been tight. Neither team establishing any kind of a lead in the first six and a half minutes of this one. Crusoe to the top of the key. Gives up the dribble. Passes over to Parr. Now it comes back outside. Down inside it comes. Under the basket to Stewart. Bounce pass left corner. Crusoe open for a three-point shot off the right side of the rim, and on the rebound we're going to have a foul on the bees. Grayson Stewart over the back of Jules Butler and he'll pick up his first foul. Third team foul, and the ball belongs to the Polar Bears in the backcourt. The Fairmont lineup 
Butler, Grant, Law, Dobbs, and Good. The bees have Parr, Hunt, Stewart, Crookshanks, and Crusoe. Law on the left wing. Left corner to Grant. Grant back outside to Law. Dobbs comes up. Ball comes on the right wing to Butler. Dobbs gets the ball, penetrates, then gets it in the left corner to Grant. 13-foot shot, no good, but Andre gets the rebound, drives into the paint. His shot rejected. Law gets the rebound. Law brings it back outside, top of the key to Grant. Right wing Butler, takes a bounce pass inside, and then brings it back out to Grant. In the lane, it comes to Dobbs. Dobbs goes to the basket in front of the boards, puts it up, no good. Rebound, tipped around, and Crusoe has it for the Bees. Crusoe brings it up court from right to left, across the center line, picked up by Good. Crusoe. Drives down to the right wing. Now along the three-point line. Backs it back outside. Gives up the dribble and then passes over to Crookshanks. Back now, top of the key to Evan Parr. Down to 25 seconds to go in the quarter, and the Bees look like they may now decide to go for the final shot. Tony Thornton counting the five, so Parr knows he has to get a little separation from Dobbs. And he does that as the clock turns down to 10 seconds. Right wing Crusoe against Good. Five seconds. He's standing almost on the sidelines. Top of the key to Parr. Parr launches a long three. Off the rim at the buzzer. No good. And that's the end of the first quarter. One quarter in the books from the Fairmont Fieldhouse. It's the Fairmont Polar Bears 10. East Fairmont 10 on 93.1 WFGM. Physical Therapy is a Tri-States Championship Partner for Comprehensive Physical Therapy and Sports Rehabilitation Services. Access to physical therapy has never been easier, with extended hours and walk-in services available. Generations Physical Therapy. Multiple services, multiple locations, experience you can trust. Massey Power Sports is your one-stop off-road and tractor destination. We have an awesome selection of side-by-sides, ATVs, dirt bikes, tractors, and kid machines. Our machines come loaded with features the other brands don't have and will save you thousands of dollars versus the competition. Massey Power Sports offers the best prices, the best service, and the best warranties. Our locations in Beckley and Cross Lanes are here to serve you. Online at MasseyPowerSports.com. Massey Power Sports. We power your work and your adventure. Generations Physical Therapy is a Tri-States Championship Partner for Comprehensive Physical Therapy and Sports Rehabilitation Services. Access to physical therapy has never been easier, with extended hours and walk-in services available. Generations Physical Therapy. Multiple services, multiple locations, experience you can trust. Ready for the second quarter. From Fairmont, it's East versus West. The Bees at East Fairmont. The Polar Bears of Fairmont Senior on the Polar Bears home court now. And East Fairmont gets the basketball to start the second quarter. Their lineup. Parr has it outside. Stewart in the game along with Crookshanks. Crusoe. And on the near side, Drew Moore. Ball comes to Moore on the left wing. Now in the deep left corner to Parr for a three. No good. And the rebound to the B. Stewart. His shot blocked from behind, but he follows it up and puts it in. Grayson Stewart gets the basket. And East Fairmont has a 12-10 lead. Butler in the left corner for the Polar Bears. Out to good. Top of the key to Grant. Right wing Law. Law gets it to Dobbs. Left wing Butler open for a three-point shot. It rims out. Dobbs tips the rebound. Good gets it. Right corner Law has it. He's open for a three. It's off the back of the rim. Rebound inside to Good. He follows it up. His shot blocked. And the ball comes back to Butler on the left wing. Butler to the top of the key to Grant. Right wing Dobbs. Dobbs penetrates. Cut off. Now has the ball knocked out of his hands and stolen. Drew Moore drives for the layup from the right side. Misses the shot. And the rebound controlled by the Polar Bears. Law outlet to Good. Good. Drives down inside. Stops. Now feeds it under the basket to Dobbs. In traffic. Lays it up and banks it in. Good. Dobbs gives the Polar Bears their 12th point in the front court. Stewart drives for the basket, but he is called for an offensive foul. Deshaun Good draws the charge on Grayson Stewart, and that will be the second on Stewart. And the fourth team foul against the Bees. So Stewart comes out of the game, and Blake Hunt comes back in. Polar Bear lineup, Grant, Dobbs, Law, Butler, and Good. Zykeus Dobbs dribbles the ball up from left to right. 
Dobbs picked up by Hunt, top of the key. Right wing Law. Law back to Dobbs. Dobbs penetrates, gets it right corner Law. Open for a three. It's off the rim, no good. Rebound more for the Bees. Back the other way. Parr has it in the front court. Parr dribbles back to the center circle to set up the East offense in a tie game. Tries to get around the screen. Then takes it to the left wing and travels. Good defense by Andre Grant. Forced Parr to have some difficulty trying to stop. And as he did, he shuffled the feet. And the Polar Bears get it back on the East turnover. 6-10 to go here in the second quarter. And the game is tied at 12. Kermod with the ball in the front court. Law has it stripped away from him, but he gets it back and then is going to be called for traveling as he fell down with the ball. Sub coming in for the Polar Bears. Connor Gower comes in. Out of the game, Law. 5.58 to go in the second quarter. Game tied at 12. Crusoe to bring it in. And Crusoe throws it in the backcourt to Drew Moore. East is a junior-dominated team. Moore, one of those juniors, drives into the front court. Drops it off to Hunt. Hunt on the left wing to Parr. Parr hits Hunt at the top of the key. Bounce pass back outside to Evan Parr, guarded by Dobbs. Moves around the screen, then pass comes to Hunt. Drives down to the right side, then feeds it off to Moore. Drives inside under the basket to Crusoe, who lays it in. That's the first basket for Crusoe, and it gives East Firm on a 14-12 lead. Grant drives all the way in, a beautiful move, and a blocking foul called. The basket will count. Andre Grant, three baskets in this game, and now we'll go to the line looking for the three-point play as the game is tied at 14. Grant at the foul line this season, not very good so far, just 33%, but he's only shot nine times. Free throw is up, and it rolls in good. So Grant gives the Polar Bears a one-point lead. That foul was on Crookshanks, and that was his first. Bees with a basketball against pressure, and there's a turnover. Evan Parr tried to get the ball into the front court, and he threw it into the Fairmont Senior Student Section. And the Polar Bears have the basketball now, and it'll be Dobbs dribbling it up. Penetrates, dishes off, deep right corner, three-point shot, rims out, but there's Good with a rebound. He turns, he shoots, and he follows it in. Deshaun Good gets the basket, and the Polar Bears have a three-point lead. It's 17-14, and there's a push. The ball goes out of bounds, and it's out of bounds to the Polar Bears. Evan Parr, guilty of the turnover, right in front of our broadcast spot. And now timeout called by the Bees. 4.56 to go in the second quarter from Fairmont. It's the Fairmont Senior Polar Bear 17, the East Fairmont Bees 14. And this is Fairmont Basketball on 93.1 WFGM. Injury at any age can be a game changer, but with walk-in clinics Monday through Saturday, the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Sports Medicine Institute takes care of the herd. Let us take care of... Uh Uh-huh. Fairmont Senior has the basketball, and the Polar Bears have a three-point lead. Just inside five minutes to go in the first half. Gower back in the game for the Polar Bears. Left corner, it comes to Grant. Grant guarded by Moore. Back to Good, who's out beyond the three-point line. Into the right corner, it comes. Gower gets it into Good. Back to Gower in the right corner. Back to Dobbs. Dobbs penetrates. Back to Gower. Open three from there. High off the rim, no good, and Parr has the rebound. He'll bring it up court from right to left with the Polar Bears up by three. Hook pass knocked down by Dobbs. It's loose, and it goes out of bounds to East Fairmont near midcourt. For the Polar Bears, typically Dobbs guards the other team's best offensive player or their biggest offensive threat. And for the Polar Bears, that's seven par. 
Comes in the backcourt to Crusoe. Crusoe against Deshaun Good. Still in the backcourt, gets it across the center line. Drops it off to Moore. Back out to Parr, who's at the center circle. As the clock turns down, almost four minutes left in the first half. Moore around a Crusoe pick, drives down to the foul line, then brings it back out to Parr. Off balance three, right wing is good. Evan Parr has his second three and ties the game at 17. Dobbs into the front court. He penetrates down inside. Top of the key, good. A three-point shot is high off the rim. Rebound tipped by Grant, controlled by Dobbs. Dobbs almost has it picked away from him and gets it back to Gower. Open for a three. And this one is good. Connor Gower hits the three, and the Polar Bears lead it 20-17 to in a three-point shooting contest here. Hunt on the right wing for the Bees. Top of the key, par. Thought about taking that long three, but thought better of it, and now backs it back outside. Grant guarding him now. Drives around the screen, set by Crookshanks. Now Crusoe gets it. Over to Hunt, right wing, high-arching three is short. Rebound Butler, down court to Gower. Gower has it in the left corner, shovels it to Butler in the lane. Now brings it back out to Dobbs. Dobbs penetrates in front of the basket. Seven-footer is high off the rim and down through good. And a foul is called after the basket. The basket is good. And a foul called against the Polar Bears inside. Deshaun Good gets his second foul. So Dobbs gets the basket. That's the good news for the Polar Bears. The bad news is that their big guy, Deshaun Good, just picked up his second foul. He'll take a seat. And incoming for the Polar Bears now is Latik Williams. That puts Dobbs down inside in Good's spot. Dobbs 6'4". He can play inside. So now East with the basketball down by five. This is the biggest lead of the game. It's 22-17. Boyers outside to par around a Crookshank screen. Right wing three over the rim. No good. Rebound Grant for Fairmont. Grant into the front court from left to right. Takes it to the right wing. Back outside to Butler. Butler penetrates. Back to Grant. Grant long distance three-point shot. It is good. Andre Grant having quite a first half. The Polar Bears up by eight. Right wing Hunt shoots a three. It's good. And he counters that one very quickly. And a timeout called by the Polar Bears. 2.22 to go in the second quarter from Fairmont. It's the Fairmont Senior Polar Bears 25, the East Fairmont Bees 20 on 93.1 WFGM. now for the final two minutes and 18 seconds of the first half. Dobbs into the front court. Around a screen by Connor Gower. Back outside. Right corner Butler. He's open for a three-point shot. It's short. Rebound tipped around and controlled by Williams. Williams brings it back out into the deep right corner to the top of the key to Gower. Left wing Dobbs. Sykeas penetrates. Dishes off. Right wing Gower. Another three. This one is good. Gower gets his second three. Fairmont senior 28. He's Fairmont 20. And the Bees, Evan Parr, dribbles into the front court. Over to Boyers, back to Parr. Parr dribbles over to the right wing and then backs it back outside almost to where the center line meets the sideline. Crusoe gets it on the right wing beyond the three-point line. Now deep right corner, Stewart. Top of the key, Hunt. Three-point shot. Off the rim, no good. Rebound, Crusoe for the Bees. It comes on the left wing to Parr. Gets his man to go into the air, and he shoots a three, and it is good. Evan Parr has three threes, and Fairmont Senior leads by five, 28-23. Dobbs down to the baseline for the Polar Bears. Back outside to Williams. Williams sees an opening, moves in closer. Back to Dobbs. Zykeas penetrates. Now, in heavy traffic, puts it up no good, and the rebound bounces out of bounds, out to the Polar Bears. 
Steve Dalton ruled it last touched by Maddox Boyers, and now Tony Thornton is coming in, and I think he's going to change his mind, and he does. So the ball belongs to the Bees. Inside one minute to go in the first half, and the Polar Bears have a five-point lead. It's 28-23. Evan Parr into the front court. Far side to Hunt. Deep right corner to Crusoe. Deeper in the corner now to Parr, who penetrates under the basket. The ball knocked down, controlled by the Bees, and a beautiful lay-in by Grayson Stewart. And the Bees trail by three. 28-25, and the Polar Bears will go for the last shot of the first half. Dobbs slowly dribbles across the center line, picked up by Hunt. Back it comes to Gower. Bees man-to-man. Now Grant just holds the ball on his left side as the clock turns down to 13. Back to Dobbs with 12. Fairmont Senior 28, East Fairmont 25. Dobbs penetrates, dishes off to Butler in the corner. Five seconds to go. Over to Gower, and Gower is tripped by Grayson Stewart of the Bees. And that will be his third foul. It's not a shooting situation, so the ball will be out of bounds to the Polar Bears with three seconds to go in the first half. Gower will toss it in, standing right in front of the East Fairmont bench. Bounces it to Dobbs, who penetrates. Two seconds in front of the basket, lays it up left-handed, misses, and that's the end of the first half. Halftime at the Fairmont Senior Fieldhouse. It's a good one. Two undefeated teams playing a tight one here in front of a jam-packed arena. The score at the half. The Fairmont Senior Polar Bears 28, the East Fairmont Bees 25, and the halftime report is coming up next. where the Polar Bears lead the East Fairmont Bees 28-25. And I have a special halftime guest. And when I introduce his name, you're going to wonder, well, why in a basketball game are you talking to the football coach? But there's a real reason behind that. Nick Bardick is joining me. 
And Nick, before we talk a little bit football, let's talk about the real reason why you're sitting beside me right I, now. I would like to know that too. Yes, Jeff. because if you look back to the last time there was a matchup similar to this one with both East and West at either undefeated or almost, you go back to the year 2003, and I looked at the summary of my game, and I saw here where it said that Nick Bardick nailed a three-pointer from the left wing with one minute and nine seconds to go to give Fairmont Senior a 62-60 to lead. That was a game the Polar Bears eventually won by two. But tell me what your memories are of that game when you were the leading scorer. Well, when you just said the date, that was concerning because it is now 2023, and I, some quick math, realized that was 20 years ago, Jeff. So that's, that was the first thing that popped out to me. But uh, the, uh, the atmosphere of that game, similar to tonight, you know, packed house. You know, we, uh, we were ranked always in the top 10 kind of the whole way through school. And East had a good team that year also. And so a similar kind of vibe to tonight. Uh, I think they were undefeated coming in. We had had one loss uh, to a pretty good opponent. And so, um, you know, like, you know, just – you see some of that same similarity tonight with the atmosphere tonight, and it's an intense game, and uh, so far uh, it's it's played up to the billing. And you never know when somebody is going to surprise you and have a game like that where uh, a guy like Nick Bardick hits six of seven field goals in that game and is the team's leading scorer. And that wasn't your uh, that wasn't typical for no, you. No, that, that, that wasn't my typical role uh, in necessarily scoring. You know, I'd score a little bit uh, here and there. Uh, but uh, I guess selective. But then, yeah, more defense and uh, try to be energy guy. But, that, yeah, that not typically uh, of the scoring role that I would play. So, yeah, special night uh, in terms of a, a career game. So let's talk football just a minute. Your season ended in the quarterfinals of the Class AA playoffs against Independence, the team that eventually won it all. That Independence team turned out to be the real thing. Yeah, they uh, they absolutely the real deal, and you know you, you saw them uh, throughout the season. It was hard; you didn't have common opponents, and it's it's hard to gauge somebody you know when you don't have something to, to balance it with. But uh, we knew coming into the season they were going to probably be the team you know uh, to watch for and to beat, and uh, you know they they used home field advantage uh, to their advantage, and uh, our guys you know we weren't able to overcome uh, the adversity, and they, they are the ones that, that forced that pressure, and they rode that all the way to the state championship. Now you get a little bit of a chance to relax as this is the off season, if there really ever is an off season right. in sports anymore. But tell me what your thoughts are about next year, what what you see coming back, and what are your, your visions of the Polar Bears in 2023? Well, we, you know, we'll, we'll always try to keep this thing rolling, and uh, you know, we have a good core of guys coming back. So, um, you know, guys understand what it takes in the off season to get to where we always want to be and what we're trying to accomplish. And, uh, you know, our plans are to be back in the mix again next season. I take a look at your stats, and this one is the one that is glaring to me, and that is postseason coaching record. 17 wins and three losses. That is like a remarkable number because you have a lot of teams. And, and one of the things that's so remarkable is that's 20 games right. in six seasons. Uh, and a lot of teams would like to just get there, uh, let alone have 20 opportunities uh, in the last six years. But uh, you've been, uh, you have been on the right side of a lot of big games on the football field. Well, that's the thing. You know, the success kind of feeds success. And our guys, uh, I think that experience in these big games, they're able to apply that. And, you know, sometimes I think people don't think you can do that from year to year. But that experience, uh, we, we play another half a season you know, every year so far until uh, this year. We only had two extra games but we've played three or four uh, every other year. So, I mean, those extra games really does add to big game experience, and it carries over. And our coaching staff does a good job with that, and, uh, you know, our, our kids and our program have done a great job with that. Well, Nick, thanks for joining me at halftime. Uh, I remember when you were just the music man on the coaching staff, and you've moved <laughs> all the way up to the head coach, and quite a job you've done. So thanks for being with us here at halftime. East Fairmont. Fairmont Senior, the Polar Bears up 28-25, and the stats coming up next on 93.1 WFGM. Physical Therapy is a Tri-States Championship partner for comprehensive physical therapy and sports rehabilitation services. Access to physical therapy has never been easier, with extended hours and walk-in services available. Generations Physical Therapy, multiple services, multiple locations, experience you can trust.
Massey Power Sports is your one-stop off-road and tractor destination. We have an awesome selection of side-by-sides, ATVs, dirt bikes, tractors, and kid machines. Our machines come loaded with features the other brands don't have and will save you thousands of dollars versus the competition. Massey Power Sports offers the best prices, the best service, and the best warranties. Our locations in Beckley and Cross Lanes are here to serve you. Online at MasseyPowerSports.com. Massey Power Sports. We power your work and your adventure. City National Bank, where you can purchase or refinance your home with the No Down Payment Champion Mortgage. No down payment, no private mortgage insurance, no kidding. Visit your local branch to get started today. City National Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. To learn more, log on to mortgage.bankitcity.com. Generations Physical Therapy is a Tri-States Championship Partner for Comprehensive Physical Therapy and Sports Rehabilitation Services. Access to physical therapy has never been easier, with extended hours and walk-in services available. Generations Physical Therapy. Multiple services, multiple locations, experience you can trust. Mm. Sandwiches. Better with Pepsi. Moments away from the start of the second half here in Fairmont. The Polar Bears up by three at the half, 28-25. Halftime stats show that Andre Grant leads the Polar Bears with 10 points at the half, followed by Dobbs with six, Gower with six, and Good with five on the east side. Evan Park has 11. Blake Hunt, six, four for Stewart, and four for Crusoe. Team totals. Fairmont has seven twos. East has four, but the Bees have five threes. The Polar Bears, four. At the foul line, the Bees are two for two, the Polar Bears two for three, and that's how we have a 28-25 score. After one quarter, it was tied at 10. In the second quarter, the Polar Bears outscored the Bees 18 to 15. Check the second half lineups for the Polar Bears. It's the same lineup that started the game. That's Gower, Dobbs, Good, Williams, and Grant. For the Bees, Crusoe, Hunt, Crookshanks, Boyers, and Parr. Fairmont has the ball to start the second half. Foul trouble. East Fairmont's Stewart has three. Fairmont's Good has two. Grant has the ball in the front court for the Polar Bears. Passes to Gower. Right corner, Williams. Back outside to Gower on the wing. Fell high post. Dobbs has it. Deep right corner, Good. Right wing, Gower. Gower gives up the dribble, then bounces it down low. It comes to Dobbs. Works his way inside. Triple teamed. Back to Gower. Open right corner three. And it is good. Connor Gower hits his third three. The Polar Bears lead it 31 to 25. East with a basketball in the front court. Playing in front of its bench right now. At the entrance end of the facility here. Down inside to Crusoe. Backs in against Good. Puts one up short. Rebound to Sean Good for the Polar Bears. Lead pass down court to Grant. Grant doesn't have numbers. Gets it back to Good on the wing. Drops it off to Grant. Deep right corner. Down low to Dobbs. Double team. Back to Grant. Top of the key. Gower. Thought about the three, but said, nah, maybe next time. Passes top of the key to Grant. Right corner, Williams. Williams back to Grant. Grant hot in the first half for the Polar Bears with 10 points. Down low to Dobbs. Dobbs back to the basket, turns from five, shoots short. Rebound pulled down by the Bees. Out of the with it is Crookshanks. Outlet comes to Parr. Parr dribbles up court from left to right. Fairmont Senior up by six. Parr dribbles between his legs at the top of the key. Gets it over on the right wing to Hunt. He's a three-point threat. This one is no good, though. And the rebound goes to good. Outlet to Dobbs. Dobbs up court from right to left for the Polar Bears, trying to go up by eight. Dobbs pass the left corner to Gower. Gower gets called for double dribble. He had to control the pass, and he put it on the floor once, controlled it, and put it on the floor a second time to set up his shot. And he gets called for the turnover, and the Bees get it back. Trailing 31-25. Parr dribbles it up. He'll be picked up by Dobbs. 
Right wing pass to Crookshanks. Grant guards him. Back outside now to the center circle to Parr. Parr around the screen down to the right corner. Now puts one up, no good, and Grant has the rebound. Back the other way. Grant to Williams. Williams, left corner good. Drives down inside and is called for the offensive foul. Nice job by Crusoe setting position under the basket, and Good ran into him, and he gets his third foul. It comes with 5.55 to go in the third quarter. East with the ball now, 31-25. The Polar Bears on top. Around a Crookshanks screen, Parr, back top of the key to Crusoe. Down low pass over played by Dobbs, and he's called for the foul. He reached around to overplay it, and they said he put his right arm on Crookshanks inside. And Dobbs gets his first. Second team foul. The ball is out to the Bees under their basket. Paul Ayers, the official, will hand the ball to the East player who's surrounded by fans. And Paul Ayers is trying to get somebody to, to move the fans farther off the court. He couldn't even find the East player to hand him the ball. Parr will bring it in under the basket. Looks, looks, then lobs it out high to Maddox Boyers at the top of the key. Boyers drives down against Gower, then passes back to Crusoe. Crusoe against Good. Top of the key to Hunt. Hunt back right wing to Bowers. Bowers fakes the three, moves in closer. Now gets it back outside to Hunt. Three-point shot, top of the key, off the front side of the rim, no good. Nice rebound by Boyers inside, puts it in, and he's fouled. Connor Gower called for the foul. Boyers, not a big guy, but he was able to secure the rebound and now looks for the three-point play. The Polar Bear lead is four. Free throw, short, rebound good. Good gets it down to Grant. Grant into the front court around Hunt, all the way for the basket, puts it up no good, but he is fouled. His shot went up off the bottom of the glass, but the foul called against the Bees. And it's going against Blake Hunt. That's his first. Sub coming in for the Polar Bears after the first free throw by Andre Grant. Grant has 10 points tonight. He's one for one from the foul line. Averages 10 points a game. First one is up, and it is good. Andre's coming off probably his poorest game of the season, the one at Philippines. He couldn't make a shot. He was like one for seven from the floor. And then he comes back here tonight and scores 10 in the first half. Good checks out. Butler in with 5.18 to go in the third quarter. The Polar Bears will see how they play without their big guy in the lineup now. They lead by 5, 32-27. And the second shot is good by Grant. And the Polar Bears are back to the six-point lead. Now get in full court pressure. Parr against Grant. Gets up court. His pass comes to Crookshanks. Down under the basket. It's knocked down. Crookshanks hits it back. Puts up a shot. No good, but a foul is called on the Polar Bears. Andre Grant gets the foul. That'll be his first. Steve Dalton, the official, saying he got him on the arm, and Crookshanks will shoot at the line to the right. Right hander puts the free throw up, and it is off the front of the rim, no good. Crookshanks was the record setting quarterback for the East Vermont Bees. In fact, he set the all time school record for passing yards, and he's just a junior. One more year to go. Second one is also short. And the rebound tracked down in the corner by Dobbs. And Zykeus dribbles it up. Polar Bears up by six. Dobbs jump pass left corner. Grant 17 feet out. It's in and out. No good. And rebound secured by Crookshanks. Down it comes to Boyers. Boyers drives around his man for the basket. Runs into Jules Butler. And he's called for the offensive foul. You could see Butler deciding to establish position in front of the basket. And he did it perfectly. And the foul called against the Bees. And it'll go against Maddox Boyers, his first. Drawing charges is not something the Polar Bears have done much of this season, but there have been two in this game tonight. Good with one, and now Butler with one. Vermont Senior with a basketball, up by six. Dobbs, left wing Butler, moves in closer, stops, puts one up in the corner, no good, but he has fouled by Boyers, and he'll shoot two at the line to the left. Maddox Boyers gets his second foul. 
And Jules Butler goes to the foul line. He's just a freshman for the Polar Bears. He's shooting 41% from three-point range, and he's made both of his foul shots. Free throw is up, and this one is no good. Butler will shoot one more. Trying to give the Polar Bears a seven-point lead. It's in and out, no good, and Crusoe has the rebound, and the Bees have the ball quickly in the front court. They have numbers. It comes inside to Moore. Moore feeds it inside to Stewart. His shot is blocked, and with the ball is Dobbs down court to Grant. He lays it up. It's good. Grant gets the basket. Dobbs the assist. The Polar Bears lead by eight. Quickly in the front court. Hunt, left corner Moore. Moore brings it back outside to Hunt. Polar Bears up by eight. Midway through quarter number three. Right wing, a pass thrown astray. Out of bounds to the Polar Bears. Hunt trying to pass it to Stewart. Stewart was headed in the opposite direction and a timeout called by the Bees. 4.08 remaining, third quarter. It's the Polar Bears 35, East Vermont 27 on 93.1 WFGM. A standing room only crowd watching the number two Polar Bears being challenged by the number five East Vermont Bees. And the Polar Bears lead by eight at the four minute mark of the third quarter. Dobbs with the, foot, with the basketball in the front court. He takes it to the left wing, right wing Grant. Grant, high post Williams. Williams turns, now double team, gets it back outside to Dobbs. Dobbs guarded by Hunt. Lobs it to Butler at the foul line. Back to the basket. Butler brings it back outside to the top of the key. Polar Bears set it up all over again. Ball comes in the left corner to Dobbs. Stops from 17 feet out. It's short. Rebound comes out long, and it's controlled by Moore, and Drew Moore will bring it into the front court for the Bees. Moore to the top of the key. Guarded by Gower. Getting a five count. Left corner, Parr. Grant guards him. Inside the ball thrown away and stolen by Williams. Polar Bears get it back. Butler into the front court from right to left. Low right-hand dribble gets him across the center line. And now he passes on the right wing to Grant. Looks in against Moore. Bounce pass to Dobbs at the foul line. Dobbs makes a move inside. Spins to the basket. Now double teamed. Forces one up. It's blocked. Rebound Dobbs. Under the basket to Williams. His shot blocked out of bounds. Out of bounds to East Fairmont. So the Bees... Two block shots on that defensive series, and the Polar Bears will be on defense again in full court pressure this time with 2.57 to go in the quarter, and the Polar Bears up by eight. That's the biggest lead for either team in this game. 35-27 at the half. The Polar Bears led 28-25. After one quarter, we were tied. Crusoe gets it into Hunt, and Hunt in the backcourt gets it to Parr. Parr will be double teamed as he gets it across the center line. But now bounces it down low under the basket to Stewart, goes for the basket, and a blocking foul is called against Gower as the shot goes off the glass, no good. Gower gets called for his second foul, and at the line to the right is Grayson Stewart, who has two baskets, four points, no foul shots. Stewart, the left-hander, puts the first one up, and it rolls in good. Stewart, a 6'3 junior. East Fairmont starts four juniors and one senior, typically. Second free throw is also good. And the Bees have cut it back to six, 35 to 29, and Grant has it in the front court. Grant almost loses the ball. 
and he gets it back to Dobbs. Drives inside in the lane, and he gets it back to Grant. On the left wing to Butler. Butler back outside to Grant, 2.33 to go. Over to Gower on the far side. Gower puts it on the floor. Now needs help as he gives up the dribble, and a bounce pass comes to Grant. Grant has it knocked out of his hands. He dives for the ball. It's loose on the floor, and picked up by the Bees. Moore gets it, and he'll dribble up court from left to right. 2.12 to go in the third quarter. Polar Bears by six. Crusoe lobs it down inside under the basket to Stewart. His shot rolls in good, and he is fouled. Latique Williams picks up the foul for the Polar Bears, and Grayson Stewart gets the basket and a chance to trim the Polar Bear lead back to three points. He shoots at the line to the right. He just was there and made two. And this one is good. And the Polar Bears now lead 35-32. The Bees on a 5-0 run. Dobbs in the front court as the clock ticks inside. Two minutes to go. Dobbs against Hunt. Right wing Gower. Gower double team now. Needs help. Right wing Dobbs. Dobbs penetrates. Puts one up quickly from 13. It's good. Zykeus Dobbs has eight points. Polar Bears 37, East 32. Crusoe into the front court for the Bees. Right corner. Hunt gets it back to Crusoe. Drives down inside under the basket for Stewart. The ball batted away. Out of bounds to the Bees under their basket. JV game tonight. Polar Bears won it by about 40 points. Inbounds pass comes to Crusoe. Top of the key to Moore. Under the basket. All alone is Stewart, and he lays it in. Stewart from Moore. Polar Bears 37, East 34. Dobbs into the front court. Left wing Grant. Grant gets it back to Butler. Butler over to Grant. Three-point shot from the wing. No good by Gower. Follow-up by Grant. No good. Rebound Crusoe. Down court to Grayson. Stewart all alone, and he scores. Stewart hits it, and the Bees are down by one with 58 seconds to go in the third quarter. Grayson Stewart, nine points here in the third quarter. Nine of the Bees, 11 points. Dobbs dribbling the ball near the center line. Polar Bears lead at 37-36. You might hear the ball hit the floor because Dobbs is standing right in front of me. Clock is down to 30 seconds. Deshaun Good, remember, on the bench with three fouls. He's played very sparingly here in the second half. Cobb still dribbling, no pressure. Clock down to 15. And Zykeus inches a little closer to the top of the key now as the clock is down to 10. Now Dobbs down to the right wing with seven. Penetrates into the lane. Bounces it in the left corner to Butler. High arcing three-point shot is no good at the buzzer. East has the rebound, and that's the end of the third quarter. After three quarters from the Fairmont Senior Fieldhouse, it's a good one. It's the Fairmont Polar Bears 37, the East Fairmont Bees 36, here on 93.1 WFGM. Neither team wants to lose this game because neither team has lost a game this season. Both come into the game at 7-0. And as we start the 
fourth quarter, East will have the basketball, the polar bear lineup. Now good back in along with Grant, Gower, Dobbs, and Law. The Bees have Moore, Crusoe, Parr, Stewart, and Hunt in the game. The officials checking the scorebooks to check the foul situation. So uh, they're comparing books. You know, in the old days, the scorekeeper sat side by side, and you could kind of keep track of things together. But now they sit totally apart, one at one end of the table and the other at the other end. So, of course, it's the home book that is the official book. But when you have a discrepancy, and we just had one where the team fouls were one off between the two books, and it's now been resolved. And East will get the basketball to start the fourth quarter. Steve Dalton, the official, hands the ball to Crusoe, and he passes it into Moore, and Moore dribbles into the front court. Polar Bears man to man. Left wing Crusoe. Under the basket to Parr, overthrows him, and Parr catches it, but it took him out of bounds. So the Polar Bears get it on the turnover. And Dobbs will bring it up. The Polar Bears led 35-27. It's now 37-36. Grant on the left wing to Dobbs. Back to Law. Law, right wing Gower. Gower feeds it to Dobbs, top of the key. Dobbs against Hunt. Left corner Law, open for a three. It's no good. Rebound comes down to Parr. Parr will dribble it up himself. The Bees looking to take the lead. And there's a pass over, played, stolen by Grant. Grant tries for the layup. A Euro step move, misses the shot, but there's Dobbs sailing in, and he tips it in, and the Polar Bears lead it 39-36. East with the basketball, Stewart comes down the baseline, and the pass comes back to Stewart and goes through his legs, out of bounds, and out to the Polar Bears. Gower tried to draw a charge against Stewart. He hit the floor, no foul was called, and then the ball got into the paint, and they try to get it back to Stewart, and it goes out of bounds. Now, timeout called by the Bees. 7.07 to go, fourth quarter. The Polar Bears 39, East Fairmont 36, a 93.1 WFGM. For 102 years, these two teams have played one another. The Polar Bears have the advantage, but just by three here through the first minute of the fourth quarter. It's 39-36, and Fairmont Sr. with the ball. Dobbs at the top of the key and away from the ball. Illegal screen called against the Polar Bears. Jaleel Law, illegal screen, and that sends Law to the bench and brings in Jules Butler. So Butler into the game. He's a freshman. And East will bring the basketball up. Parr will dribble up. Polar Bears lead by three. Here's Parr against Dobbs on the left wing to Crusoe. Guarded by Good. Down inside under the basket to Stewart. He misses the layup, gets his own rebound, leans in again, and puts it in. Grayson Stewart puts the Bees down by just one. It's 39-38. Dobbs with the ball, penetrates into the lane. Right corner, Gower, open for a three. It's good! Connor Gower hits the three. He has 12 points, all on three-point baskets. And the Polar Bears have a 42-38 lead. Parr slowly across the timeline, passes to Crusoe at the top of the key. He gets it to Hunt in the deep left corner. Back outside of Crusoe. Pass inside, tipped by Good, picked up by Grant. Three on two, Grant to Good. Good drives down inside, needs help. Back outside to Gower, down low to Good again. Good, stops from 15, shoots over the rim, rebound inside, controlled by Dobbs, feeds it to Grant, lays it up, and it's no good, but a foul is called inside. Foul goes against Jackson Crusoe. Crusoe 
was called for the first foul of the game tonight. And this is his second. And we have 5.55 to go in the game. Andre Grant at the line for the Polar Bears. Shooting two shots. First free throw is up, and it is good. Grant has been a solid performer for the Polar Bears tonight. That's his 15th point. And he'll shoot one more. Spins that ball up with a right hand. And he's got another one. And the Polar Bear lead is 44-38, 5.53 to go. East with a basketball. Parr across the center line. Drops it off to Hunt on the right wing. Off balance, two-pointer is over the rim, no good. And Dobbs secures the rebound for the Polar Bears. In traffic, and he's slapped from behind by Grayson Stewart in the backcourt. Fourth foul on Stewart. Not a shooting foul. That's just the fifth team foul against the Bees. The Polar Bears have seven fouls, so any foul will send East to the line for the one and one. Dobbs with the ball. Top of the key. Over to Gower on the right wing. Gower drops it off to Butler. Butler had a stretch of six consecutive three-point baskets earlier this season. Gets it to Dobbs. Drives down inside. Lays it up and scores. And the Polar Bears lead it 46-38 with 5.15 to go. East Fairmont with the ball. Parr, top of the key, long three. Banks in, good. Evan Parr gets his first three in the second half. And the Polar Bears lead 46-41. Dobbs, left corner Butler, left alone for a three. It's good! And the freshman nails it from a deep left corner. And the Polar Bears lead it by eight again. It's 49-41. Par outside as the clock turns down to 4.42 to go. Fans standing every spot that's available. Here's Moore taking the shot from 16 feet out, and he drills it in. And the Bees trail 49-43. Gower gets around his man to the baseline. Hits good. He takes it to the basket, and he slams it in. It's 51-43, driving inside is Moore for the shot, no good, and Deshaun good rebounds. He gets it over to Gower. Gower to Dobbs for the floater, it's good. Dobbs floats one in, and there's timeout called. 4-10 to go in the fourth quarter. The score, the Fairmont Polar Bears 53, the East Fairmont Bees 43 on 93.1 WFGM. No, this is one minute. Halfway through the fourth quarter, and the Polar Bears have the biggest lead of the game. It's 53-43. East has the ball. Fairmont's lineup, Dobbs, Williams, Good, Grant, and Butler. So Latik Williams in for Connor Gower. That's a defensive move for the Polar Bears here, up by 10 with four minutes to go in the game. Barr across the center. Parr across the center line to the right wing. Over to Crusoe. Crusoe drives in against Good. Good cuts him off. Now pass knocked down, stolen. Good gets it for the Polar Bears. Good into the front court. Has his pass stolen. Back the other way. It comes to Stewart. He lays it up and scores. Grayson Stewart gets it, and the Bees are down by eight, 53-45. Now in full court pressure. 
Dobbs gets the pressure in the backcourt across the timeline to Grant. Grant double-teamed, back to Dobbs. Dobbs is hand-checked out at the center circle. Foul called against Boyers. That will be his third. Sixth team foul. So from now on, the Polar Bears will be in the bonus. Ball comes in the backcourt to Dobbs. 53-45, Fairmont Sr. has the lead and the ball. Dobbs guarded by Hunt over to Andre Grant. Grant, near side Butler, guarded closely by Bowers. Boyers, rather. Right corner it comes to Deshaun Good. Good, left wing. Butler. <clears throat> Butler backs outside, getting a five count. Now passes on the far side to Dobbs, around his man. Moves into the lane, and a whistle and a foul is called against the Bees, and that will send Dobbs to the foul line for the Polar Bears in the bonus. Blake Hunt gets his second foul. One and one for Zykeus Dobbs at the line to the left. Zykeus has been hot and cold at the foul line. Right now he's hot. Earlier in the season, he wasn't. He was seven for nine in the last game and five for five in the game before that. So 12 of his last 14 free throws made. It is up and it is in and out no good. He'll not get the bonus and the Bees have the rebound. Down by eight, East has the ball and Parr gets it across the timeline. Parr passes on the far side to Boyers. Boyers guarded by Gower, top of the key. Parr open for a three, it's good. Evan Parr, deadly three-point shooter for the Bees. And Fairmont Senior leads 53-48. Dobbs drives all the way in, lays it up beautifully left-handed. It's good, and he's fouled. Zykeus Dobbs taking the ball to the basket, and the foul goes against Jackson Crusoe. So at the foul line now, it's Dobbs again. Shooting just one this time, though. Try to convert on the three-point play. He has 16, and the free throw is good. That gives him 17 for the game, and he leads the Polar Bears in scoring. Grant has 16. Parr across the center line. 17 points for him tonight. Takes it to the right wing. Bounce pass top of the key to Boyers. Boyers drives all the way to the basket. Beautiful pass inside to Crusoe, who lays it in. Crusoe gets the basket from Boyers. Polar Bears 55, East 50 in the backcourt. Connor Gower. To Dobbs over to Grant on the far side. Grant drives down inside, stops from 12 feet out. He shoots and rolls it off the rim, no good. Rebound controlled by Butler. Bears have the ball back. Two minutes left. Gower gets it at the center line. Gower over to Dobbs on the near side, right in front of me. A minute 53 to go. Polar Bears 56, East 6, East 50. Dobbs penetrates, deep left corner to Grant. One hands it out to Gower. Gower getting heavy pressure from Hunt, gets away from that, and then he's fouled by Blake Hunt. And Connor Gower will shoot free throws at the line to the left. Hunt gets his third foul. Ninth team foul, so this is the last one plus one for Fairmont. It'll be the double bonus after this. Gower going to the foul line for the Polar Bears. He is 0 for 2 from the foul line this season. He's shooting one and one, and it is good. Gower's had a really good game for the Polar Bears. He's made four three-pointers. That's his 13th point. He'll shoot one more, and it swishes in. And the Polar Bears lead by eight with a minute 38 left, and East with the ball. Parr across the timeline, picked up by Dobbs, looks for that screen from Boyers, gets it, then the ball poked away. Dobbs has it. Dobbs heading up court, and a whistle and a foul called on the bees in the backcourt. And it will send Zykeus to the foul line. Evan Parr called for his second foul. And now Dobbs will shoot the double bonus at the line to the left. He's looking for his 18th and 19th points of the game. He's come alive here in the fourth quarter with nine points, similar to the way Grayson Stewart did for the Bees when he had nine in the third quarter. First free throw is good. Stewart had nine of the Bees' 11 points and helped trim that polar bear lead, which was eight at one time, down to one after three quarters. 
Dobbs shooting one more, and it is good. And the Polar Bears have the 10-point lead now, 60-50, to 50, with a minute 27 to go. Parr into the front court. Around a Bauer, Boyers pick. Back outside it comes. Top of the key to Boyers for a three, no good. And the rebound secured by Parr, and he lays it up and in. And a timeout called by the Bees. Timeout East Fairmont, 114 to go in the fourth quarter. The score, the Fairmont Polar Bears 60 to East Fairmont Bees 52 on 93.1 WFGM. Connor Gower will shoot one more. And it rolls off the left side of the rim. Rebound, Crusoe for the Bees. Bees with the ball, par in the front court. A minute to go in the game. The Bees are down by eight. Left corner, high arching three-point shot is good. That was Blake Hunt with 53 seconds to go. The Bees are down by five, and there's a foul in the backcourt. Blake Hunt gets his first three-point basket of the second half, and it sure came at a good time for the Bees. Deep left corner. East has a lot of really good three-point shooters. And now, at the foul line is the freshman, Jules Butler. He's 0 for 2 from the foul line tonight, and he's shooting two with 52 seconds to go, and the first one rattles in and out and back in good. Butler... We'll shoot one more. Polar Bears lead by six, and it is good. Two big free throws for Jules Butler. Fairmont by seven, 50 seconds to go as Parr dribbles up from left to right. Picked up by Dobbs. Stops, right wing, Hunt. Right corner, Boyers goes down to the baseline, cut off, back outside. Deep right corner, the ball batted out of bounds, out to the Bees with 37 seconds to go. East down by seven, 62-55. Help inside. Help inside. You can't relax because this East team can hit a three quickly. Blake Hunt, right wing, three-point shot off the rim, and Dobbs has the rebound. Racing into the front court, and he is fouled at midcourt. And he'll go to the free throw line to shoot two with 31 seconds to go. Dobbs has 19 points. Averages 22 a game for the Polar Bears. He's shooting two. He's made his last three in a row. Free throw up, and it spins in, out, and then back in. He'll shoot one more. Fairmont's lead is 63-55.
31 seconds left. It rolls off the right side of the rim. Crusoe has the rebound. Bees have the ball in the front court. Boyer stops, doesn't take the three, but Parr will off balance off the left side of the rim. Butler fights for the rebound, but he knocks it out of bounds. And it's out to the Bees with 22 seconds to go, and the Polar Bears lead by eight. Coming up next, the Bees will play at home against Lincoln. The Polar Bears on the road at Elkins next Tuesday. Crusoe gets it to Boyer's top of the key. Back to Parr. Three-point shot is good. Evan Parr hits the three, and East calls a timeout with 15 seconds to go. Timeout Bees, the score. Fairmont Senior 63, East Fairmont 58 on 93.1 WFGM. Just 15 seconds to go. The Polar Bears have the ball, but it's baseline backcourt. Got to get the ball in play here with a five-point lead. Gower to toss it in. Gower gets it to Good right back to Gower, but Good was fouled as soon as the ball touched his hands and just one second went off the clock. Foul goes to Crookshanks. That will be his second. And Deshaun Good, who's been held to just five points tonight. He averages 19 but foul trouble plagued him in the third quarter, and he's not been able to assert himself the way he would normally do because of that. But he'll shoot two free throws at the line to the left on the season. Deshaun is a 55% foul shooter. The first one is good. He has six points, but Fairmont has had boosts from Andre Grant with a career-high 16, Connor Gower with a career-high 14. And Deshaun Good will shoot one more. Polar Bears lead 64-58. 14 seconds to go. The second win is good. 65-58. East with the ball. Parr across the center line. Back. It comes to Parr with eight seconds to go. Launches a long one. Dobbs partially blocks it. Rebound comes down to Butler with five seconds to go. Gets it to Gower. Gower brings it up court. Passes to the to Deshaun Good, and the ball game is over, and the Polar Bears winning streak remains alive. Fairmont remains undefeated. It's a final from the Fairmont Senior Fieldhouse. The Fairmont Polar Bears 65, the East Fairmont Bees 58. Wrap-up coming up next on 93.1 WFGM. Physical Therapy is a Tri-States Championship partner for comprehensive physical therapy and sports rehabilitation services. Access to physical therapy has never been easier, with extended hours and walk-in services available. Generations Physical Therapy, multiple services, multiple locations, experience you can trust. Massey Power Sports is your one-stop off-road and tractor destination. We have an awesome selection of side-by-sides, ATVs, dirt bikes, tractors, and kid machines. Our machines come loaded with features the other brands don't have and will save you thousands of dollars versus the competition. Massey Power Sports offers the best prices, the best service, and the best warranties. Our locations in Beckley and Cross Lanes are here to serve you. Online at MasseyPowerSports.com. Massey Power Sports. We power your work and your adventure. City National Bank, where you can purchase or refinance your home with the No Down Payment Champion Mortgage. No down payment, no private mortgage insurance, no kidding. Visit your local branch to get started today. City National Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. To learn more, log on to mortgage.bankitcity.com.
Generations Physical Therapy is a Tri-States Championship partner for comprehensive physical therapy and sports rehabilitation services. Access to physical therapy has never been easier, with extended hours and walk-in services available. Generations Physical Therapy. Multiple services, multiple locations, experience you can trust. Sandwiches. Better with Pepsi. It's the final tonight from the Fairmont Senior Fieldhouse. The Polar Bears have won their eighth game of the season tonight, beating the East Fairmont Bees in a tight one, 65 to 58. It went down to the last few seconds as the Bees didn't give up, and they got it to within five but couldn't get any closer. The Polar Bears made enough free throws to keep the margin at bay, and the Polar Bears win it by seven. Let's check the final scoring in the game tonight. For Fairmont seniors, Ikea Stobbs was a little bit quiet until the fourth quarter, and then he came alive for the Polar Bears. He scored 12 in the fourth quarter, and he finishes with 20 on eight baskets, four of six at the line. Andre Grant, season high, four twos, one three, five of five at the line, 16, and Connor Gower, the Polar Bears needed his play tonight. He made four threes, two for four at the line, 14 points. Seven points for Deshaun Good on 1-2, one, 1-3, two, one, two for two at the line. And Jules Butler, 1-3, two for two at the line. Five, Latique Williams made one free throw out of two for one point. For the Bees, Evan Parr, he was really good. He made six three-point baskets for East tonight. It seemed like every time the Bees needed a big shot, Parr was there to deliver. He had two twos, six threes, 22 points. And how about Grayson Stewart? He had 17 points for East Fairmont on 7 twos, 3 for 3 at the line, but he had 11 of those points in the third quarter. Nine points for Blake Hunt on three three-point baskets. Jackson Crusoe had six, two baskets, two for two at the line. Drew Moore, one basket for two. And Maddox Boyers, one basket, 0 for 1 at the line, two points. Team totals, the Polar Bears 14 twos, the Bees 13. From the three-point line, East Fairmont had nine threes. The Polar Bears seven. At the foul line, though, Polar Bears did a good job. 16 of 21, the Bees five of eight, and Fairmont wins it 65 to 58. It was tight throughout. Polar Bears and Bees tied at 10. At the half, the Polar Bears led by three. After three quarters, Fairmont led 37-36. In the fourth quarter, Fairmont Sr. outscored the Bees 18 to 12 to win it 65 to 58. What's up next? For East Fairmont, it will be a matchup on Tuesday night at home against the Lincoln Cougars. And for the Fairmont Polar Bears, it'll be on the road at Elkins on that same Tuesday night. And we'll have all of that action for you Tuesday night. The Polar Bears on the road at Elkins. So that is going to wrap things up tonight from the Fairmont Senior Fieldhouse. A little different arrangement tonight where we had a little video along with the audio. Eli Brady to my left, Butch Mounts to my left, and back at the studio, none finer than Luis says he is my bodyguard. Final score tonight from the Fairmont Senior Fieldhouse, where the news is good for polar bear fans. I'm Jeff Carpenter. Goodbye for now. It's Fairmont Senior 65, East Fairmont 58 on 93.1 WFGN.